So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello there and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I am your host, Robin Norgren, and I am going through a series called Love Poems from God, where we look through uh, the poetry of sacred voices from the East and the West, and this poetry in particular, they uh, attribute to poetry that has been given to them by God to show us how much God loves us. And so right now we are looking at the poetry of St. Thomas Aquinas. Um, I did do an introduction to, to his, his history and his uh, place in the church and in the mystical community. So I believe it's a couple episodes back. Just look for the one that says St. Thomas Aquinas part one. But we will go ahead and start with his poetry. The first one is called Ducking. More significant than any act is the power, the impetus behind it. An ocean fish may gather enough momentum to leap into the air and, meet, and may even fall into a boat and bite someone. But tracing that act to its source reveals the ocean as the cause. Our thoughts leap out of God. Creation took flight from his bow. Behind every act is the beloved. He is the cause. The child blames others for their woes. No one can change the course of his arrows. That does not mean that one should not become adept at ducking. This one's called On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath, try and make no noise that goes beyond your house. Cries of passion between lovers are exempt. What does light talk about? When you recognize her beauty, the eye applauds, the heart stands in an ovation, and the tongue, when she is near, is on its best behavior. It speaks more like light. What does light talk about? I asked a plant that once. It said, I am not sure but it makes me grow. This next one is called zeal. Zeal, where does it come from? I don't have all the answers, but every time his lips touch mine, I get wonderfully crazy. The pulse of God. The limbs of a tree reached down and lifted me, thinking I was its child. And in the meadows, my spirit becomes quiet, so quiet, that if I put my cheek against the earth's body, I feel the pulse of God. Tell me the way you do that, birds. Enter the, in the private chambers of my Lord. And they all sang. They just sang. I gathered it was time to become a musician, and I did. Years passed, and the sky reached down one day and lifted me. The birds noticed and spoke. 
How do you enter the sun like that and know the pulse of God? Beauty Homes. So many tears behind these words. Love hones like that, perfects and purifies the gift. If it had not believed, would any seed take root if it had not believed his promise when God said, Dears, I will reign, I will help you, I will turn into warmth and effulgence. I will be the mother I am and let you draw from my body and rise and rise. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and like and subscribe and share this podcast with those who you think would be encouraged by it. And I am always so appreciative that you stop by and listen. Thank you.